condiments. Sugar free barbecue sauce. Two carbs for two tablespoons. Hello, you finally get to come out, babe. One carb. Too much water. Two tablespoons. This is, we're only going to use a little bit of it. A little bit of butter, sour cream for you. Mashed cauliflower? I was going to say mashed potatoes. Sorry. No potatoes here. So today, what are we making, babe? Um, I want to make some barbecue chicken, uh, some cauliflower, bacon, mashed I don't like sour cream. I love sour cream. So, add a little bit, not too much. We didn't bring I mean, cheese. I only have mozzarella and parm downstairs. Love. So, next time. Cheddar cheese. All these recipes will be made again and made to the better of my knowledge. Not just <laughs> what we have in the fridge, so bear with us. Okay, so he's warming up the pan over there. It gets too mushy. No, it just, do, it just takes forever to cook. Here's our chicken for our barbecue chicken. I purchased at don't say we don't have enough chicken. Walmart. Well, I didn't defrost that much chicken because it's only for two people. Yeah, that's what you say. I'm sorry. We don't have that much chicken because we're only cooking for two people, of course. Because that's how big our family is. You're sharpening your knife. Okay. Add to this. Hot water. Yeah, you can. Hot water, cold water. I mean, it doesn't really matter. How much water did you use? Like a little more than half because it's gonna evaporate. So you guys can see. So you don't have to keep adding more water. If you want, you could add salt, but for like anything vegetable mash, I'd say steam never boils. Yes. And it's necessary to have a sharp knife. This, not a sharp knife. Well, it gets us through the hardest times of our lives. <laughs> <laughs> That's our chicken. Let's see it. If you don't know how to clean a chicken, that's fine. That's not bad unless you're super picky. I keep that. This bothers me. You can always put a napkin, a napkin or a rag under your cutting board so it doesn't. A little, you see how it's sliding? Yeah. You get a wet napkin. Mm -hmm. Or not even wet. Just Lucas. Damp, not too crazy. Some healthy tips from home. See? It still slides a little bit. I didn't wet it off. The, not the, yeah, it's a nugget. You can cut it off, you can keep it, whatever. I don't know. If you cut it, you just, you, you cut it off and then you're able to take off the fat part. Ooh. So, that helps all of that. Then, uh, I got the knife sharp. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm used to just using the stone. You slide it back and forth on the stone. Okay. So that's why I did that. This, uh, if you don't want this, there's, they usually leave bone in here, so, or like extra bone in, there's a, actually a bone in there. So you just want to pick that up, kind of like this, kind of want to run your knife down there, like that. Be very careful. Just kind of want to pull the fat away. It's gonna. It's hard to get them all the same size sometimes, so.
so sometimes you just really eyeball it. Mm, you don't know how to butterfly something, just kind of, it's really thick right here, just kind of cut against it, lift it up, some knife strokes to it, you know. Oh. Talk to them about keto. Food. Keto is hard. It's not hard. It's just you really have to have uh, what's this stuff called? Willpower. To not eat bad stuff. Mm -hmm. I work in the kitchen all day, so there. Yeah, we got salad in there. Yeah, I know. Don't look at me like that. That's why. That's the problem. Yeah, because we got too much other good stuff going on. I bake cookies every morning. So after we cut the chicken, what are we gonna do? We are gonna see, uh, season it. Okay. And what do we like to season it? We, uh, I like garlic powder, salt, and pepper on a lot of my stuff. Just simple. Which is? Well, we use kosher salt. Yeah, kosher salt. Never the other salt. The other salt's just too. This one we got it at Winko. This one we got it at Walmart. And this one, I believe, Winko as well. And I got this one at Winko too. You could either use extra virgin oil, olive oil, or extra virgin olive oil. I thought this was avocado oil, but never mind. That's our chicken. This will probably feed what? Two people? Yeah, feed like three people. Three people, yeah. Three people, three like. So I have left. There's probably like 12 ounces of chicken in there, or like For 14 lunch. maybe. This is this isn't necessary at all, but okay. Just you could season it just like that, but just add a little bit. And then. Uh, can you give me the paprika, please? We're adding what? Salt. Okay. Hold on. So this is what it looks like. I like a lot of pepper. I don't know. Same. I'm a heavy pepper fan. You like seasonings. And then he's adding. A little bit of paprika. Also bought at Walmart. No, Walmart, sponsor me. Know. You know what? Uh, you want to give me some chili powder? So he took a little break right now, but we are still cooking. So I wanted to give you guys a little update on what's going on with me right now. I am currently on day five of being back on keto. So right now I actually have been eating, you know, dinners because I've been cooking dinners. My fucking nail broke. I'm sorry, it looks right. But this video and the other video should be up coming soon. Um, this video is going to be mostly just cooking with us. And I'll probably upload this next week. I want to upload on Wednesdays and Fridays. If I have enough footage, I can vlog Wednesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. Um, hopefully, if I can... I do have a lot of footage for you guys, so we'll see, but thank you guys for watching, and I will finish this recipe, and it will be up soon, so you guys can try these freaking mashed cauliflower. It's freaking bomb. Like, you guys have no idea. It, it literally tastes like mashed potatoes, but it doesn't even taste like cauliflower to me, to be honest. But yeah, thank you. Paprika, Bye. chili powder, it's cool. We're gonna get a little bit. Everything. I'm preheating the pan. You preheated the pan. I have a little bit, just a little bit. Let's have a chicken on. Actually, let that get hot. Come over here. Wash our hands. Can you turn that, that pot down real low, real quick? Just 
breaking it down to smaller pieces. The reason why I stopped doing the chicken and started doing this because the chicken's gonna be done probably quicker than this is. I know chicken takes forever, but they're not gigantic pieces. They're not big breasts. Oh, breasts. Here's what it looks like. We took off all the ugly parts because I guess and I don't buy your vegetables at Walmart. Yeah, no, that's I forgot to tell you that. Don't buy vegetables at Walmart. There's only a few certain places you can buy produce. And I say Winko, Walmart, Vallarta. Not for everything. Well, not everyone has a Vallarta. Cardenas? Cardenas, we got a Cardenas. Next we have our bacon. Yeah, definitely cook your bacon. Bacon's probably like the first thing you want to cook. I'm just in a hurry, I'm hungry. So, this needs to disappear. Thank you for washing the dish. You are welcome. Always think the person that washes your dishes because if they weren't there, where would you be? <laughs> Crying in your bed. Why? Because you had to wash all those dishes. <laughs> Maybe cook them a meal. Tell them thank you. It's a nice thing to do. Cooking the bacon. I turned it on, but you might want to start it cold. You don't want to start it hot and throw your bacon in there, I mean. Okay. I don't know. It's not like frying other things. It has to cook in its own fat and just don't add oil. Like three, four pieces, two people. Three pieces is fine, but I think I like my bacon. You fine with three pieces? Yeah. I'm four. No, it's fine. You do fine. Okay. We're doing four pieces. That might be a little too big for the pot. Okay, let's just take it. Up. We're doing three pieces. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let me get you a zip one. Please. You can see it start to. Yeah, you know, sweat it out a little bit. Yeah. It's gonna sweat it out. You cook your bacon in the oven. If you want, you cook it about on 325 for like 25 minutes, 30 minutes. After like 15 minutes, you could probably dump out all the grease and let it go for another like five, six, seven. And it'll be extra crispy if you keep dumping out that grease, but it's, it's only necessary after like 15 minutes because otherwise you, you gotta let the juices release before you start. It's probably done, but and be careful because you got fat, no oil, and water, so you might want to just pull it off to the side. You just. <laughs> hot. You got it's hot. Okay. What's next? And now, we're going to bring this back. Get it restarted. Medium heat. I'm going to turn the bacon down there. You let your pan get kind of hot. I already added oil, had to do it over, had to disappear for a few minutes. So. Pan's nice and hot. You can't be scared in life, you know? They tell you that water and oil don't mix, but it's fun sometimes. See? The little things yeah. moving around. It's pretty much ready. But it's like, mm, it smells good. It's kinda of you know it's kinda of hot. It's gonna get irritated with the juice from the chicken. And let's see how hot it is though. It's not where I want it yet. I want a loud loud sizzle so 
Because why? We want it to be brown, not white. I know I'm not gonna, it's not gonna, it doesn't need to sit like stew, let all the juices, it needs to get hot. It needs to get a brown color, and then you lower it when you add the barbecue on it. I think this is ready, so sounds a little good. But once you add all this, the oil is gonna cool down. So you don't want to lose chicken. You definitely don't want to lose chicken. I recommend not dumping all this in there because that's how you bring yourself. Tongs are fine, or I mean, if you're not scared, I mean. But. And you gotta remember, this is um, extra virgin olive oil, so it burns fast. Well, it can burn. So you don't have your fire too on, but you want to just feel it. Don't touch it, let it go. Yeah. We like it crispy. Right? Mm -hmm. Almost burnt. It's not burnt, it's Cajun, baby. Like, like, to like crumble like mush almost. Like, n not fight back at all. Like. The more you trim your bacon, the less likely it will um, burn and maybe the more crispy, not maybe, but it will get a little bit more crispy. People who want to learn at home a little bit, I know a little bit. I don't know everything. I'm still learning. So, starting to stew a little, so we're gonna turn it back up. down below give this video a big thumbs up right here he is adding half a stick of butter and he is adding a splash of half and half a tablespoon of sour cream 
So here he is adding salt, pepper, and last but not least, garlic powder. Next, you use the utensil that you use to mash your mashed potatoes, but here we are using it to mash our cauliflower. Make sure to mash them to your liking. I like them to be kind of crunchier. Some of you guys like them to be more watery, but if you like them thicker, you don't have to smash them for that much, for that long. Since the bacon was crunchy, he just smashed it with his hands and added it to the mixture. Um, this is the final plating. This recipe was so yummy and I will link all the ingredients at the bottom and how long it took us to cook this. So if you guys have any questions, make sure that you comment down below and we will make sure to answer them all. Hopefully you guys like this recipe and just make sure to subscribe and keep on watching. Thank you.